Welcome back. It is not a secret uh, price for er er prices for everything are going up right now and it has many thinking that we are heading toward a recession. Joining our conversation now, our local financial advisor, Bruce Allen of Bruce G. Allen Investments. Bruce, good morning. Good morning, Gary. Okay, so who decides or how do they decide if we're in a recession or not? Well, the folks that are charged with determining whether we're having a recession or not is the National Bureau of Economic Research. That's a group of about 1,700 economists, and there is a committee called the Business Cycle Dating Committee. And okay. that's not, that's, I know, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna let that one pass. There you go. Um, but th there are eight economists on that, f some famous, some not so famous, but they make the determination of whether the economy has peaked and is going into recession or whether the economy has bottomed. And, they look, and their definition of a recession is something that's sizable, you know, significant, not just in one area. So throughout the United States, something that's a significant decline in economic activity and also something that lasts for more than you know, a couple weeks and lasts for several months or more. And these economists that you speak of, they are worried about uh, they are worried. the recession right they now. They are right? worried, yes. And why is that? Well, I think the key thing more than anything else that concerns me and the biggest predictor of recessions, the most accurate predictor of the recessions is the treasury bond market. And specifically the relationship between 10-year treasury bonds or long-term treasuries and short-term treasuries or the one-year treasury bond. At the beginning of this year, 10-year treasuries paid 1.5%, a little over that, and a one-year bond paid very low, 0.39%, but that's not unusual. 10-year treasuries, usually investors demand a higher return. Today, we are dealing with something different. Uh, since you and I last talked, the 10-year treasury bond today is paying a little over 3.0%, so right around 3.02, and the one-year treasury bond is actually paying higher than that, 3.15, and that is a very unusual situation. The, in, the yield curve of the treasury bond market is called inverted at this point. That phenomenon where short-term rates are higher than long-term rates has happened before every recession and every economic slowdown since 1953. In fact, we haven't had a recession without it. And when that happens, that does not make me jump up and down with joy. That makes me feel like, uh oh, we got a problem coming. So you got the bond market predicting possible recession. Yes. How long does it usually take to, to find out if it's actually going to happen? Typically between six and 18 months, but there's, that, that's the historical pattern. There's no way to predict that typically, but somewhere in that range. But we are likely to have uh, some kind of an economic slowdown or a recession sometime within the next six to 18 months. And of course, everybody remembers the, uh, the recession uh, back, back in the early 2000s yes. because it was brutal. Uh, but there are different types of recessions, right? There's mild recession, there's a more you know, rigorous recession, that sort of thing. Yeah, let's tackle the ugly one first. The 2007 to 2009 recession, we saw you know, unemployment jumping, people's houses went down in value, we had a significant banking crisis. That was a very severe recession and probably the big tie-in with severe recessions is a banking crisis, a la the Great Depression and right. the crisis that happened in 2008 where we saw banks very severely impacted by the mortgage crisis. The recession that we had in 2001, for example, was very short, very mild, and a lot of people didn't even know we had a recession. That's, let's hope we have that kind. So as we watch the data unfold so far, the economy is very strong right now, and people have very good, consumers in America have a very good financial situation. Let's hope that helps keep this recession very shallow and very slight, as you're talking about. Yep, okay, all right, keep our fingers crossed. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Okay, you too.